Hey everybody, I'm gonna try to make this brief. Um, today God spoke to me about where I am right now. Um, I started listening to this book called Intercessory Prayer by Dutch Sheets. Now, I've had this book for probably about eight or nine years. The first one, um, I left it on the airplane. <laughs> And so I ordered another one and all together I began reading this book about three or four times and I and I get pretty far into the book um and for whatever reason I stopped and so today I started listening to it because I'm like I'm gonna finish this book and especially knowing that God has called me to a place of intercession in this season um I want to read and remember some key nuggets first thing that comes to mind um i remember this conversation i had with my ex-boyfriend one of my first boyfriends his cousin um he had recently been divorced and he was reading this book called the discipline of intercession i have that book as well and he was saying that as he was reading the book he was expecting to see a change in his ex-wife when in, in all actuality the change manifested in him they began to have a better relationship, and so I was just drawn in by that. And um, read that book, and at, I, honestly, I'm grateful that I read it at the time I did, but I wasn't ready for the, the heaviness of the content. And so I believe that's probably what happened with me reading this book. And so as I started listening to the book, I'm probably only on like the first or second page, definitely like in the first chapter or the introduction. Um, he said something that like really stuck in my mind and translated to me as, um, what he said was that, um, he didn't realize how hard intercession was and how long it would take. And so God spoke to me and said that now you see why sometimes you have to, you face opposition in intercession. It's hard to pray for somebody else, especially a person that's hurt you, especially somebody that has um, unknowingly hurt you or intentionally or maliciously hurt you. And so for you to wholeheartedly pray for that person, <laughs> sorry, I'm having an epiphany. I see now why God had me to read the book, The Bait of Satan. I had to let go of offense that I was holding towards some people in order to be able to pray for them from an objective place. And um, even now, and continuing to pray for those people after the hurt. It's a constant prayer that God suppresses the hurt in me so that I can pray for them from an objective place. And so needless to say, um, yeah, <laughs> intercession is hard work. And if God has called you to it, he trusts you with praying for that person. It gets difficult. Sometimes you want to quit. Sometimes you may quit. And... The beautiful part about it is that if God puts that press and desire on your heart again, that ultimately he's coming in agreement with you, or rather you're coming in agreement with God. You're partnering, partnering with God here in the earth for God's will to be done in the earth. Um, I think that's a beautiful thing. That's really a true sign of love that God would press on your heart to forgive a person in order to pray for them from an objective place. I think it's a beautiful thing that God would even trust us to pray for someone else, even in our own imperfections. And in light of things that I've experienced over the last several years, but definitely in the last six months, um, I see how important it is for us to intercede for other people, especially those who've hurt us. Because ultimately, you can see God may may grant you the, the grace, the favor, and the mercy to be able to see your prayers come to existence. I can definitely attest to that in one of the lives of my friends. Um, I was praying for him for years, and just to see his transformation and see who God has allowed him to become, it encouraged me to continue to pray for him. And so, in closing, I definitely recommend this book if you feel that God has called you to um a post of intercession and 
I also encourage you to keep pressing. I keep, I encourage you to keep pushing, keep pushing, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Even if it seems like that person isn't changing, even if that person continues to hurt you, keep praying, keep praying. Just don't stop praying because ultimately your, your prayers are bombarding the heavenly realm and they will break through. Like God is faithful. He wouldn't put that burden on your heart for it to not have an effect, for it to not bring forth a change for you to, for the person that you're praying for, the object of your prayers to not receive the manifestation of God's love through your prayer. And more importantly, as I, you know, recount that conversation, intercession will change you. It'll make you a better person. It'll make you a wiser person. It'll make you a stronger person to be able to pray for someone who's hurt you or pray for anybody, whether it be a stranger or what. And you never know how God will turn that around, how he will use the seeds of your prayers to be a blessing to you someday. Because you never know. You definitely need prayer someday. I know I've had to. So that's all I have. Bye.